Good morning, you guys. It is Tuesday morning and I already had this video made and uploaded and scheduled for you guys to come out this evening. But this morning when I woke up, I found out that the Zaycon 99 cent boneless skinless chicken breast sale is back. So if you missed it last time, hopefully you can get on it this time. Uh, it's good for today and tomorrow until 11.59 p.m. Pacific. You need the coupon code FIRSTCASE all caps, all one word, and you're gonna put that in the coupon code section and then it's gonna take your discount off. Um, if you are an existing customer, then you can't do the 99 cent chicken sale, but there is a sale going on where if you buy one case, you get the chicken at $1.49 per pound. Two or more cases are $1.39 per pound. And again, there are coupon codes for those as well, which you can find those in the description box below. I hope you guys get in on this sale. Now let's get to the recipe. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Freedom Homestead. It is Sunday morning, and we're getting ready for church. Clearly, I'm not ready. Um, but I did want to go ahead and throw in our lunch into the slow cooker, and I've been promising you guys this video. Um, I am making what I'm calling Kentucky chicken. It is just like Mississippi chicken with one variation, and since I live in Kentucky, I'm calling it Kentucky chicken. So I'm gonna show you what the ingredients are and then how I throw it together. So for this recipe, you need two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Um, you can also use roast, pork loin. You can use pretty much whatever meat you have on hand, but we really like it with the chicken. One stick of butter. You don't have to use a whole stick, but it really makes it delicious and tender. You need one packet of ranch dressing. Uh, you need some pepperoncini peppers. I've even made this with banana peppers and the banana peppers were really good. So this is what I have left over from the last time I made this, but I already, and I have another jar, so I'm gonna use a little bit of both. This is the difference between my recipe and the traditional Mississippi chicken recipe. The traditional Mississippi chicken recipe calls for a packet of au jus, but it didn't make sense to me to put au jus in something with chicken in it, so I put in this chicken bouillon, or this is a uh, consomme de pollo. But um, anyway, it really, it, I've made it both ways, and we like this way much, much better. So let's throw it in the crock pot. Okay, so the first thing I did was I ran some hot water over my chicken just to get it loosened from the bag, and I also broke it in half so it'll fit down in my slow cooker. All right, I have my slow cooker lined. Um, it just makes for much easier cleanup on a Sunday afternoon. Okay, so we got our chicken in the slow cooker. Now I'm gonna add my envelope of ranch. Lombo, lombo. Okay, I'm going to add a scant tablespoon of bouillon. What is a scant, you ask? It means not quite. So, like, you know, I get it in there, but shake some of it out. So that's what that looks like. And this is why you don't add any other seasoning. You don't add salt because it's plenty of flavor. It's very strong. It is. Okay, and now I'm gonna add my peppers. And this is according to how much you like pepperoncinis. I actually really, really like them in here. Um, and the banana peppers. You really just put in there however many you like. It does lend a little bit of heat to the dish, but not that much. And what's really awesome is as this cooks, the peppers get super, super tender. I mean, and they just like melt in with the chicken. It's really, really good. And last but not least, the stick of butter. Just like that. I'm gonna turn this on to high because I want this to be done for lunch. So it's gonna cook on high for four hours until we get back from church. And I love it. What's really awesome is when we get home and we pull into the garage and we open the door and we can smell our food waiting for us. It's, I love the slow cook up. Okay, so when we come back, I'm going to show you how we plate it up. Um, again, it's totally to your preference. And, um, but I'm gonna show you how we enjoy it. Okay guys, we are back from church and look at that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the chicken out, um, put it on this plate here, and I'm gonna shred it. Okay. 
So I've shredded the chicken and now I've pulled the bag, the liner out of my slow cooker and I am very carefully going to pour the contents of this bag over the chicken. This is what gives it its, all of its flavor. All that juice and butter, all that ranch. Yummy. sit down and eat you can tell I've already taken a couple of bites of my sandwich I just put mine on a bun with some mayonnaise it's really good if you have mozzarella cheese or provolone or something like that um, so I'm having mine as a sandwich but Jack is having his as nachos so he's got sour cream and his chips and we also have some salad um, so anyway, I hope you guys give this recipe a try. Like I said, it's really not that far off from Mississippi chicken with just the one variation. I have made this with banana uh, peppers and it was just as good. Not at, I say not as spicy. There's not really hardly any spice to begin with. But anyway, let me know if you make yours a different way. Is there a way that I should try it that I don't know about? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed we're also on all social media you can find all of our social media links in the description box below and share this recipe with your friends pin it on pinterest you know share the love we'd love to have you guys uh, stick around so that's all i've got for you guys today until next time hey, thanks so much for stopping by freedom homestead here we're about living off the land being together as a family we homeschool our two children we talk to you about our gardening adventures how we preserve our own food and build our food storage we live on a tight budget and we share with you our grocery hauls. I will even break out the cleaners and show you how I clean my house. So whether we're sharing with you our life, our love of liberty, or our love for each other, thanks so much for stopping by and please consider subscribing.